Now Simon has a son-in-law, Ptolemy, another Greek name. You notice there's this thing going on here. Ptolemy, the son-in-law of Simon, wants to be in charge. He does not want to wait for his father to die. So Ptolemy has Simon murdered. And he also sends assassins after the last son of Matthias, John Hyrcanus. Now the assassins fail. John um, returns to the city. He was away with the Seleucids fighting with the mercenary force. John Hyrcanus returns to Jerusalem. Him and Ptolemy are basically in a race to get to the city and kind of claim authority. If you're at all familiar with Roman history, when uh, whenever there was a kind of power struggle for who was going to be emperor of Rome, and there was an awful lot of that, the first person to get to Rome was typically the one who was the undoubtedly emperor. So there's a race between Ptolemy and John Hyrcanus for and this is they're from the same family. He's the you know the son-in-law of his brother. They're fighting for control over Jerusalem. Ptolemy is clearly has an army in his own right. Ptolemy takes John's mother and the rest of his family as prisoners. They retreat to the city of Jericho where John lays siege. Ptolemy eventually murders John's, bro or John's family and his mother. Now there is a break in the siege. And this is an interesting thing I learned about reading Josephus. There is what's called the um, um, restful year or the jubilee year. Or it's also called the year of release. It's also, if you're uh, Hebrew speaking, I think it's called pronounced Schmidt, Schmitta. And my apologies, please, if I pronounce that wrong. If you're interested, the next Schmitta, the next year of release, falls on the Jewish year 5,789. Or if you're following the calendar everybody else in the world does, that's September 20, 2028. And what the year of release is, Every 50 years is what's called the Jubilee year or the year of release. It's kind of a big year-long um, thankfulness. Debts are forgiven. They, they don't sow lands. Private land is made open. Food is freely given throughout the city. Now, this festival has not been marked in centuries. You can't imagine you know, an entire group of people just taking a year off and still surviving today but this was a thing that was happening and during the civil war between john hyrcanus and ptolemy it was this jubilee year and john hyrcanus lifted the siege for the year in order to honor this religious festival this year-long religious festival and ptolemy escapes now antiochus this is Antiochus the Ninth, yet another Ptolemy, takes this year of release in the civil war as an opportunity to regain lands lost by previous Seleucid rulers. Antiochus the Ninth lays siege to Jerusalem with Hyrcanus in it, and Hyrcanus has no choice. He opens up the tomb of King David and um, takes all the wealth out, what's totaling 3,000 talents, and bribes Antiochus the Ninth in order to break the siege. Now, this ticks off, of course, a lot of Jewish people. King David was obviously, uh, you know, a significant ruler, but again, you know, six of one, half dozen of another. You can stay free or you can go to, you know, the rule, pardon me, return to the rule of the Seleucids. Now John increases the lands under the Maccabee control again. He attacks Seleucid lands while Antiochus is off fighting Persia. 
This is when he takes Idumea, Marissa, and Samaria. And we talked quite a bit about Idumea and Marissa in my previous episode. If you're interested in what those places looked like, listen to episode one in the series. John is looked upon, at least in the book of the Maccabees, very well. He was um, high priest. He had the gift of prophecy. John's sons are the ones who are laying siege to Samaria. And the city of Jerusalem has a, what I would call a hate and hate relationship with Samaria. And there's no love in this relationship. John and his sons, they destroy Samaria, they siege it, and according to Josephus, and I'm going to quote here again, they pushed the siege so hard that a famine so far prevailed with the city that they were forced to eat what never was esteemed food. We'll just let that sink in for a moment. And if you're wondering what it's like to be in a city that's sieged so long that you have to resort to eating things that aren't supposed to be food, that would be leather, wood, roots, cannibalism. You know, this is the experience of being in a siege at this time. And if you're at all interested in what that experience would be like, you can listen to episode one of my Destruction of the Tower of Babylon series, where I talked about what the experience would have been like being within the city of Jerusalem when Nebuchadnezzar um, destroyed the city during his siege. This is the experience that Samaria felt. Famine, cannibalism. And John, Hyrcanus, and his sons, they destroy the city. They enslave the inhabitants. They sell them in the Seleucid slave markets. And they, according to Josephus, continued laying waste to quote, all the country that lay within Mount Carmel. And this triggered yet another civil war. This atro The atrocities visited amongst the Sumerians was so severe that it triggered yet another civil war within Judean lands, which John put down. 